all right welcome back guys once again today we're going to be talking about the drag and drop part like if you see this into this library there's a drag and drop feature as well so we're going to be talking about this and how it works also so if you see if i'm dragging a node from here and dropping it so you can see it's getting added into the dom <laughs> so <coughs> so how it is working and how the functionality is going on so everything is written over here if you want to copy this code it's gonna be copied but uh, if you won't understand it then it will be hard to do some changes into that so i will guide you like how the things are working into that and i will also guide you like how you can do the changes so let me copy all the code uh, step by step like we're gonna be step by step and there are two files one is for this sidebar this one so it has three nodes over there already so you can see into the sidebar there are three components already made dnd input type default type and output type okay and this is the dom the dom like react flow dom so that is coming into this so this one so that's thing so let's copy it copy start copying so i'm going if you see the i have already made the repo and into this into the component folder into this part i'm going to start working okay so i'm going to create a file over here index.js okay and type rafce so okay let me so rfc and we're gonna make it react D and D. Okay. Okay. So start copying the code from here. So these are the imports from the React to render, and this is the React hooks and all. So copy and paste it over here. Yeah, okay. Uh, so you know about this React and your state. So no need to make your um, make your way here, but these are the things so we're gonna use react for provider which means you can if you want to use multiple react flows into uh, into uh, by using react library so you can wrap it inside the react flow wrap react flow provider and inside that you can wrap all the react flow components and you can just start using that so i'll make a separate video on that that how the actual provider works so now, right now let's see the drag and drop part okay so also we're gonna use this add edge okay and uh, for the adding the edges like connection and also remove element this is the, these are the function that I'm gonna work into that and controls which means plus and minus the icons these are the controls okay so map hasn't been used but we can use that okay so let's copy this part also control c control v okay so if you see the dnd.css that is not coming so i have already copied the written uh, i have already written that dnd.css somewhere so you can see into this file so i have written this code and we are going to include that dnd.css into this index so let's do this dot dot slash slash dot dot so dnd.css has been imported but we don't have sidebar dot js so what we are gonna create another file sidebar dot js and inside that rafce and we're gonna create a sidebar for us and let's copy all the code of sidebar so it's very simple code like just for the drag and drop so it will start dragging but you are dropping that code inside the react flow so code going to be inside the react flow okay so we have to let me guide you about this so it's a simple semantic element that we use for making a side component or something and inside that we are using the dnd input like three dips are there we which are already designed and uh, you can see these are draggable as well so you can drag it and of course so whenever you will start the drag this function gonna be called on drag start and it will pass an event to there and the type so type is this node type and we are saving that node type into this state set data and uh, also if you see 
set data, which means it is going into the event dot data transfer. So when we will when we will drop this node into the pan, same function we gonna call for the get data. So we are already doing that. Okay. So also you can see data transfer dot move. So these are the function of events that you can pass it globally, and you can use this function into the different file location as well because it's gonna save into your window browser. So no need to worry about that window browser and also inside that event which you are passing over here so if, if you see into the index.js let me show you that cop code into that so you can see uh, okay so uh, whenever we will drop that code so you can see we are again they are using uh, where is that oh, is that so you can see over here type so for getting the type even your data transfer dot get data so there we are saving setting the data and here we are getting the data so let's copy this code as well so copy the whole code and i will guide you inside the repo okay so control c and control all control d okay so let's go step by step so i have to do we are importing some packages from this li library and after that we are imported so sidebar there's a sidebar that uh, we have already created like this is the editor spaces so we need to make change to the import and this is the initial element which means we are de defining that uh, how, how many nodes gonna be inside this react pane so this is inside the element so we are adding only one node and apart from that we are gonna add the nodes by dragging and dropping okay so this is for getting the id of the node okay so we are just creating an id like if first id will be one and when we will add another node it's gonna increase the id with the dnd okay. so it's gonna create id and this is the parent this is your main component inside that this is react flow refer we are making a use ref reference for pointing this div to this react flow provider okay so that's why react flow wrapper and uh, this is the react flow instance where we're gonna save that react flow instance inside the state okay and whenever we will do any kind of changes into the pan it this gonna be run and it will you can do whatever you want to do inside that callback function okay same thing over here elements where we are passing all the data like this one not like this one same thing like this one so this is the elements where it will come on connect method whenever you will connect the nodes this function gonna be called and it will create an edge for you and you can save it inside this inside your this one element and on element remove which means whenever you will remove an element it's gonna remove it from the state and on load function just for whenever you will load the pan it, this function gonna be called so it will be recalled somewhere on the user factor software so you can see on load function has been called over here so whenever this react flow gonna be load this function will call and it will set your react flow instance over there okay drag over whenever you will hover over, whenever you will drag over so it's gonna drop effect like move effect okay so that's effect you are passing into this event or transfer and also on drop so event dot preventable i hope you guys know about this why we use this event dot prevent default event dot stop propagation and the things we are doing for the drop is this okay so now what i'm going to do i'm going to import it inside the index.js so import react flow dnd from dot dot slash okay, sorry dot slash components slash react for dnd slash Okay, so index we don't need to do and just copy this part and paste it over here. Control Z. Uh -huh. Okay, so 
if you see so you can see they started running over here maybe some kind of styling is uh, missing but you can see this has started running okay if i will drag a component node over here so you can see node is dragging so that's the thing happening over here and also you can connect the nodes so these are the output nodes so you can only connect into these nodes not you can start creating the edges from here so you can start creating the edges from here so this node is for like a middleware node you can see like it's gonna always gonna come between the start and end node so these kind of tree you can make over here so just go over here and create the connection like this like this and that's it you can create the connection and also just connect these nodes over here so by doing this you can create multiple nodes multiple connection as much as you can okay so you don't have to pass any kind of data just drag and drop and create a connection that's it you can do over here got it so guys uh i'm if i would like to do any kind of change into that so i've already told you like how we can create the custom node but uh, you can also do the do over here so you need to assign the node types over here and you need to pass those node types over here like node type so you need to pass that node type and also you need to create the customization node type into a separate folder or you can create that thing into the same file or you can pass it into that so that's the thing you can do i think i'm going to push this code today on my github repository and you can clone it from there you can start using this code so this is very easy also if you don't want to clone this code you can go over here and you can get the code by yourself you just not you just need to copy it and paste it over there so but uh, it may be some kind of issue over here because you won't get the CSS files over there and your um, this code won't gonna be running just because of the CSS file. So you have you will see this index.css and the ND.css that I have written and this kind of make this thing work. So if I would remove this index.css from this file, so if I would remove it from here, so you will see nothing gonna be running over there. Okay, I will reload this page. Uh, how it is working? Let me check. React code end and index CSS. Okay, so it is working now. So you, you won't get these things so that's it from this video and i hope you guys understood like how we can create the drag and drop position so you can also customize this kind of thing by using the css like uh, just changing the css or you can do the change css changes by yourself like it's very easy if you know about the css okay so guys this uh, library doesn't have so much functionality if you want to read each and every functionality so all the code I have written already over here like layouting how to do the layouting and all the things so everything every code has been written over here you can do it by your own you can just understand this thing like how the things are working over there and uh, so they are providing as well core source code as well and these are the some small features that you can add on you can create your uh, go create your app a little bit better so for that the things so that's how you can do and it's very easy okay so in the next video i will probably i'll talk with uh, talk about like the actual provider and okay so that's it from this video thank you so much thank you for watching and i'll meet you in the next